On this project, I want to use text in my vector group. So I've got a heart that I've drawn here already. And let's use the text tool. All right. And it doesn't really matter which route mode we're selecting here, but I'm going to choose outline just to visually show what we're doing a little bit better. All right, so here's our text. Let's size it so it fits within our heart. And we want to do this as a vector pocketed group. But even though this is showing the outline of this text, it's actually not in a editable vector format right now that I can use to select with a vector group. So I'm going to need to break this text out of its uh, text format into a vector format. And we're going to use the edit outline tool to do that. The edit outline tool is part of the VCarve suite. When you click that, now the text is outlined. Now it's available for using into a vector group. So we can select this. We want to make sure that we're getting the inside of the letters. You can use this alternate option to click and it'll do every other shape. So it'll automatically select any inside shapes. You can also select all of them. If you want all of them routed, that would look a little funny in this case. Sometimes it works with a V cut, but not for doing a raised letter route like this. Then we're gonna set the outside boundary bit. And by default, it's going to ask you to use a V bit, which for the most part is gonna be the right answer. Uh, sometimes in a pocket, you might want to use something else. So maybe a slight taper with a finer edge uh, is what you want on, on the boundary of your pocket, set your depth, and then select what you want for your inside bit. It's going to default to your straight bits, but you can choose any bit that you want. Uh, the 1 8 inch cutting bit is the one that I use the most when I'm doing uh, shapes that are small that I'm going to need to have a, the tiniest radius I can in to fit within shapes. Click OK, and then simply click OK to see what it renders like. All right, there's your pocket. On this one, I selected a script font. Let's click our Edit Outline tool. But now, in order for us to turn this into a vector group, we have to eliminate all of these overlaps that are happening in this. So. Whenever you have a font that has tails that intersect with each other, they're still separate vectors that then need to be combined. With the Drawing Suite add-on tools, we've got a tool called the Trim Tool. You can use it to trim away the intersecting lines, resulting in a combined vector. Uh, you may end up having to make some adjustments along the way as it can alter some tangencies in the process. Just edit those back to the way that they should be along the way. You'll need to have both of the vectors that you're combining selected together and then just select all the, the lines that are not what you want. And then fix any that get out of line. Once all of your lines have then been connected, now you can select your vector group. Sometimes when you've converted text or are working with other vectors that aren't necessarily put together as cleanly as they should be, 
you will end up with certain elements of the vector that are overlapping each other and those elements will need to be cleaned up before they can be turned into a vector group. Now unfortunately there is no automatic way of finding those areas other than just looking through the points and seeing any of these clusters that get too dense where is usually indicating that something is looping over something else so the easiest way to deal with it is to just remove the excess points in those areas and then try again <laughs> 